Intel Corporation is honoring the next generation of American innovators with its prize, the 2008 Intel Science Talent Search. And here with us today is Shivani Sood of North Carolina, the grand prize winner. Welcome, Shivani. Glad to be here. All right, so first of all, congratulations. Thanks. Intel is doing a neat thing here, and how fabulous to win a, it's a $100,000 scholarship, the grand prize. That's going to go to good use, isn't it? Most definitely. All right, well, let's have you describe your project for us, and this is heavy-duty stuff that you did, so in, in the most plain language you can for those of us who don't know. All right, so this project basically focuses on early-stage colon cancer. Right now, in early-stage colon cancer patients, we have a relapse rate, meaning that they develop cancer a second time of about 40 to 50%. But when we look at a patient in the clinic, we really can't tell who's more likely or less likely to develop cancer a second time. So I tried to go straight down to the genetics and develop a predictor that would tell us who's more likely or less likely and what drugs we can use to prevent that relapse. So we're looking at individualized therapy because it's one patient's gene signature or the way in which a pattern in which their genes express themselves. And it's also chemo prevention, which is proactive, as opposed to after the fact chemotherapy. All right, now I feel like I'm sitting here talking to a medical doctor. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 17. Okay, can you please tell me how you got interested in this topic at your age? Well, I became interested in cancer very early. I had an immediate family member who had a benign brain tumor, so that kind of took a toll on me, and it really made me interested in the field of cancer research because I know that there's so many other people who have family members or have this disease themselves. So that really prompted me to get interested. And I started interning in a lab at Temple, and then I went to the National Cancer Institute, and now I'm at Duke University interning in a lab there. But you're still a high school student, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, and, and tell me, there's something about your project that is unique and special, different from the way they have looked at relapses in colon cancer in the past. Can mm -hmm. you get into that a little bit? So right now we look at a lot of visual characteristics. How big is the tumor? Is it spreading? Do we have a family history sometimes? But these really aren't strong predictors, so you really can't tell. So NIH decided to treat stages 3 and 4 with chemotherapy. They left the issue of stage 2 kind of open, so it's kind of controversial because sometimes a doctor does decide to give them some sort of treatment beyond surgery, sometimes they don't. So really it becomes kind of arbitrary. And then you even get into healthcare disparities. You know, how well does my doctor know me? Do I know that I'm getting the proper treatment? This way you have an objective test. You can look at the genetics and based on that you can tell. So there really isn't uh, too much interpretation left open. So you don't really have to worry about those issues. All right. Now, here I just heard you describe all of this in incredible language, and yet I hear you're worrying about whether you're going to get into the colleges you want. <laughs> well, you, you never know, so I still have two left to hear back from, and it's kind of nice because first you sit there and you wait for their decision, and now you get to make yours. All right, so you've heard back from, well, how many did you apply to, first I of all? I applied to eight. Oh, gee, worrying that you wouldn't get into your top choice, huh? Um, and, but you've heard from several, so you know you're mm -hmm. going somewhere. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'm going to ask you about a broader topic now. Okay. A lot of times people in this country bemoan the fact that our young people aren't as advanced in science as people in other countries. As a young woman who is involved in that area, what do you think? Well, I think that in many cases, you know, we are kind of losing interest. I know that at my high school, I'm very interested in science, but you don't always see that in other students. And in some cases, it's a, that more, some students are more interested in science and math, but I think that we really have to encourage others. So, you know, in one sense, I have this um, award now, and really it's just a chance to go back and say, if I could do it, then anyone can. It's not a matter of boys being better at something or another culture being better at something. It's a matter of putting your mind to something that you're really engaged in, really having that passion for discovery and just all of the excitement that comes with science. Now you hit on something else I want to ask you about. Boys being better at science, that's another stereotype. Mm -hmm. There are fewer young women getting into science than young men. Why do you think that is? Well, it kind of depends. I know when I went into math in middle school, there were these three other guys that were in advanced math, and I constantly felt like I was the dumb one. You know, they always said, well, we're boys, we're better at this, we're better at that. And, you know, for a period there, if I would have listened to that, I probably wouldn't have been on the same track I am right now. But my mother always told me, there's no reason to believe that they're better than you. You can always do the same things that they can. So I really think it's a matter of taking all those preconceived notions and placing them behind you, putting the stereotypes behind you, and accepting them as a challenge, and knowing that you have to prove yourself and that you really have to carry that torch forward no matter what anyone tells you. Well put, and mother's always right, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Shivani, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Leamy in Washington, and you are now ahead of the curve.